How are you? Hello, Sunil. Okay, and you? I'm also doing great. Good. That's good. There. Yeah, that's great. We're just waiting for this um, for Jenny's video to appear. It's going to happen any minute. Here she is. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Hello. Okay. Hello. How are you guys? Oh, we're fine, thanks. Very, very hot again today. Not much sunshine. It's very overcast, but extremely hot. Very warm. <laughs> so you've got a long yeah, list of change yeah. back there, I see. But it, we are we are on uh, in the winter time, but. Uh, 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 it, can you see? At least we have that here, even if it, it, it is winter. So we do enjoy, we do enjoy the sun. So how are you, Sanil? Doing great. Great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Like uh, why we didn't host a meeting, but we host the meeting every day. But he's not there, and he's like, "Why, guys? Why, guys? Why, why, why?" <laughs> well, like uh, you told me to host the meeting yesterday, but what actually happened? Like I got a call from my bank because, like day before yesterday, I lost my credit card somewhere. So the bank called me and they asked me to come, and I went there and. Uh, I had to complete a few paperwork in order to get the new credit card. So that's why I couldn't make it to the meeting and I couldn't host it. So, yeah. Oh, it's not a problem. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, because when you, uh, when you lose your yeah. credit card, it's a, it's a big headache. If someone anonymous will find that that person can totally empty your bank account and you will be like, what is my own money? So I thought that was the first thing which I need you to do. That's why I went to the bank yesterday. Okay. So what have you got in line today then, uh, Jenny? What, what is that? What have you got lined up today? I noticed on my phone there was a, a list of names. Um, I think you were looking at pronunciation of certain <laughs> words. Yes, uh, uh, because you know, the students ask me about those things like what should they do? Pronunciation is kind of like hard for them because I asked them, What is your problem? And then they told me about those. So and I was like, Okay, we're going to work on that when we are going to have Alan. To help us. Okay, if, if you would like to go through, if you produce the list on the screen somehow, and we'll, we'll, we'll go through a few. Yeah, we, we would do that. You can share the screen, Jenny, ma'am, if you have. Yes, I'm going to share. Yes, I'm going to share. Because they are there, they, they are using just one uh, device only so from school so it's fine okay so i'm going to but first of all would you mind to introduce yourself alan and then after sunil oh okay. well, i thought i thought everybody knew me by now <laughs> they, don't, they, they don't they don't know you the oh, one well, in my guest to a new group yes well my name as you can see on the screen is alan potter and i am from from the UK, uh, United Kingdom, or some people like to use the term Great Britain, or some will say England. Um, either way, you know uh, where Great Britain is or the UK. Um, I've, um, I do enjoy uh, coming on Chatbox from time to time, and 
as Jenny has said, it would be nice if I could perhaps just uh, share things with you. And I think today is going to be the pronunciation of uh, certain uh, words. And I quite understand because I must admit the spelling of some of our words in English are absolutely ridiculous. They really are. I mean, it, it, it bears no resemblance to how you pronounce it. And so hopefully after today, we can probably put you on the straight and narrow, as we say, and we'll get it right once and for all, so that there's no uh, amb ambiguity about it. So yes, I mean, let, let's go for it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, Sanil, would you like to introduce yourself as well, and then we're gonna start? Yeah, okay. So as you can see my name on the screen as Sunil Putel, and I am currently 20 years old, and I'm from India. And uh, like other students, I am here also to learn things from Alan and from Jennyman. So that's all. Okay. Uh, I, I'd like to just mention something about Sunil. Every meeting, he always attended the meeting and that's why he progressed his, uh, his English uh, language. But when I was sharing this to so everyone, like those students even having a problem, pronunciation and stuff like that, they sometimes they are not there. So I don't know how to, to help them. <laughs> but uh, those who want, you know, because the more you attend the meeting, the more you know, you know. So I exhort the other students, they have to do the same as well if they want to improve their English language. So... Yes. People, but you're recording this, aren't you, Jenny? So you better play this. They can play this back uh, any time if it's been recorded. So they won't miss out, really. Yes, yeah, she is recording it. She is recording it. The recording yeah, has you already been started. They're here live because they may want to ask a few questions. But never mind, we'll press on and we'll do the best we can. Yeah. They, they will ask they will ask a question i will tell you the question that they are going to ask because lilian will send me some question right. from there good and uh, they will they will ask and then i will, i will tell you okay because i'm using to uh, another device as well so that uh, i can see what's the question that they are going to ask okay right right okay so let us start then. Let me share the screen. Um, now, okay, let me just share the screen now. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. All right. Okay. Okay, let me just check from the this one okay i have sent to you the list <laughs> oh my goodness these are the tongue twisters <laughs> yes yeah some of them some of them are the tongue twisters so they really want to know how to pronounce them well okay fine okay so here they are you can uh, start um, because you know what the pronunciation, it, it is different, like the American pronunciation, British. There could be slight differences, yes. Last time, uh, Ginny, Ginny was helping them about the American pronunciation. <laughs> so now today, Alain is going to help us how to, you know, to pronounce them well. Yeah. All right. I, I must admit, if, the, if an American was to uh, write down that list of words, there would be one or two slight differences. But on the whole, they spell their words the same as we do. And I can see you've got three categories uh, with the letter B, T and H. Mm -hmm. um, so I suppose starting from uh, left to right and we go down the list of Bs, um, I see the first one is bomb. Now, as you've written there in, in the um, bracket, it, it, the B is actually silent. So if you, you could almost forget the letter B. And if you just said bomb, people would know what you mean. 
Um, it's a it's a very soft beat, if at all, bomb. Um, the, the lips are closed at the end of the of the word bomb. Climb again. It's the, the B is silent. Comb. See, there's no B pronunciation at the end of comb. We know what a comb is. Uh, comb your hair. Uh, crumb. Again, silent B. Death. Now, this is a peculiar one because the B is in the middle. We don't say debit. We do use the word debit, but not the way it's spelt there. It's just simply debt. So you can forget the B in that particular word also. It's a debt. As in the next word, doubt. It's not debit, doubt. So if it was spelt D-O-U-T, if you were to write that and pronounce it how you, how you see it, that's how you would pronounce it, doubt. The word dumb, again, a silent B, forget the B if you like, just in the pronunciation. Um, the next one, lamb, silent B, lamb. Limb, silent B. Numb, silent B. Now, this is a peculiar one again. Plumber, the man who works in stores, water pipes. Uh, again, it's a silent B, plumber. If you used to spell it P-L-U-M or double M-E-R, you would literally pronounce it like that, plumber. The B isn't pronounced at all. And then the next one is subtle, silent B. Thumb, we know what our thumb is, silent B once again. And finally, succumb. When you succumb, you give in to something. Again, a silent B. So there you are. Those are the list of, uh, where we uh, really, all, all the Bs in this particular case are silent. But that's not to say it is in other words, particularly if it's in the middle of a word. But in this particular case, there is the exception. So does that first line help at all with the silent B? And if you're happy with that, we'll go on to the letter T, but uh, you tell me. Okay. Okay. Continue with the letter T. Are you happy with the letter B? B, B. Do you remember there's two ways of pronouncing the letter B? It can be B, B or B, as in the alphabet. Uh -huh. Now, let's look at the silent T. <laughs> Butcher. It's a silent T, almost non-existence when you pronounce it. Butcher. Castle. No, no emphasis on T at all. Castle. Christmas. Now, sometimes people will say Christmas. I notice foreigners often will accentuate the letter T and they say Christmas. No, we just simply say Christmas. The, the, the T is almost non-existent again. Christmas. That's how it's pronounced, Christmas time. And then we have fasten. When you fasten a belt or something, silent T, fasten. Hustle, silent T, hustle. Then listen, a silent T again. Match, now you might be a little bit of an emphasis on the T here, match. Because you are putting the T slightly before the CH sound, match. It didn't just match, match. So it, it almost the T rolls in with the CH sound, match. And then we get mortgage, mortgage. Silent T, mortgage. We more or less skip the T and go straight into mortgage, which is, as you know, is a loan. If you're borrowing money to buy a house or a home, we obtain a mortgage, loan, mortgage. Then there is a nestle, nestle, silent T. Often, now I must admit, it, it, with this word often, the T is pronounced. I don't say often, it's often. So I would put a line under the word often and put a question mark on that one is often, often, not often. So I don't, I don't agree that that's a silent T on that particular word. Then there comes the next one, Russell, silent T. The next one, which, 
Well, yes, it's a, it's virtually a silent tea again, which, and then there is a softened, softened, silent tea, and then watch, almost a slight pronunciation of the T, uh, the letter T in the word watch. Not watch, watch. The T slips in just before the CH. Watch, okay? Okay. And then we get some more silent letters, the letter H or H. <laughs> Ghost. Uh, I don't know how. Is that for the first time how they try to pronounce it, but it's just simply ghost. Forget the trying to pronounce any H in it, it's just simply ghost. Honest. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes like the students say, go no, host. No, no. Forget the H, go. it's definitely just simply ghost. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know who invented all this, but uh, they've got some answers to pay for. <laughs> Uh, honest, um, it, it's a bit like Spain. We, there's no letter H pronunciation of a letter H in Spain either. And in this particular case, it is just be honest. It's not honest, simply honest. Forget the H, honest. Then the next one, our, silent H, our. Then the next one is rather peculiar, mechanic. It isn't mechanic, mechanic. Forget the age again, mechanic. Uh, the next one, rhythm. Yes, I suppose the H slides in and next to the H to the letter Y, a rhythm, rhythm. Okay, so it's virtually a silent H. And the next one is scheme. It's not scheme, scheme. No, no pronunciation or uh, on that letter H again. School. Well, they must be using this all the time. They don't say school. School. Forget the H again. School. That's what it is. What? How about the next one? What? Silent H. What? When? Where? Weather. Silent H. If, if I was to, if I was to uh, delete the H, you would be pronouncing that exactly as as, it's, as you've seen, weather. The next one, while, rest of while, while, silent H, while, peculiar word. Then there's white, um, the color white. And then why? Why do this? Why do that? Why? <laughs> okay, so there, there are the three uh, columns, and that's how I would pronounce all those words. But, it is very difficult with the learning a language, knowing when to put an emphasis on H, like horrific. There are times yeah. you accentuate the H, certainly at the beginning of a word. In most cases, um, I can't think any of the top of my head, but an H is very uh, uh, an important letter. Horrific, horrible, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> okay. okay. Oh, would you mind? Would you mind uh, just like uh, read them, like from the column, the one that's silent B, and just just read until the end, and then silent T, and then read, and then bottom. like read together. Read them from top to bottom. You mean? Yes. 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 Okay. I'll go through the whole list from top to bottom and pronounce them as I see fit. Okay. So starting with your silent B is bomb, bomb, climb. Climb, comb, comb, crumb, crumb, debt, debt, doubt, doubt, dumb, dumb, lamb, lamb, limb, limb. Num, num, plumber, plumber, subtle, subtle, thumb, thumb, and succumb, succumb. Okay, so those are the B's, then we'll go on to the T's. Butcher, there's a slight uh, T in the middle there, butcher. 
In fact, I would almost say that isn't quite, um, that's not silent really. We do bring in the tea there, butcher, not butcher, butcher. Castle, castle, Christmas, Christmas, fasten, fasten, hustle, hustle, listen, listen, Match, match, mortgage, mortgage, slight, there is a bit of a, an emphasis on the T in that particular word, mortgage, nestle, nestle, often, definitely want that T in there, often, it's not often, often, I often do this, I often do that, Russell, Russell, which, which, soften, soften, watch, watch. Okay, so those are the T's. Uh, just one or two exceptions where I wouldn't quite agree being silent. And then finally, there's the letter H. Ghost, ghost, honest. Honest, our, our, mechanic, mechanic, rhythm, rhythm, scheme, scheme, school, school, what, what, when, when, where, where, weather, weather, while, while, white, white, and why, why. Okay, so there's the list. Is that a very okay. helpful? <laughs> okay, uh, that was that was very nice. Uh, I just love. I, I have learned also like something from that. Uh, but let's let's do this, okay? Because when when I tell them to study words like that, it's not just studying it, like how to pronounce it. And I ask them to create a phrase or kind of like story, you know. Like uh, I always tell them that not just like uh, stay on that word and then that's all, but you have to know what's the meaning of that word. What do you think about that when you see that word? Yes. In, try try to incorporate it in a sentence and then it will mean more to them. Put it somewhere yeah. in the sentence and just get them to read the sentence and see how they pronounce the words, particularly those with the silent H's or T's or whatever. And I think it yeah. will stay in your dream. Sanil is one of the students uh, okay. here. Okay, so Jenny, ma'am, like you are saying that when we are like learning any kind of new words, we need to make sentences with them. That can make easy for us to remember those words and we can easily use that while we are talking to someone. Yes. Word, mm -hmm. you don't want to make like sentence, just uh, explain to us what is that word, you know, like the meaning of that word. For example, I always tell them that, you know what, when you say one word, for example, what is the meaning of to eat? And then I was explaining to them, to eat means a lot of things, like you take the food and you put into your mouth and you chew. You got a lot of vocabulary, you chew. And then when you chew, you, you, you swallow. And then like digest or whatever. And then from that to eat alone, you get the, 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 the word like put chew. something into your mouth and swallow, chew, digest. So that, that, that's how you have to study. Not just like, okay, to eat. And then you check the dictionary. And it's like, okay, to eat. And then you know it in Malagasy, Mihinan. You know it in French, manger. And then you know it in... Uh, in uh, in the Spanish word, it's not that how you study, but you have to know like what is that the meaning of that word really like that is a verb, 
you do like action and which action that you are going to do, you know, because as a verb action and you make like an action, like, okay, use your hand and put the thing in, the, in your mouth and then chew it and swallow and, uh, you know, so it, it's something like that. So let us uh, go back to that. And uh, it's up to the student to choose if they are going to, to explain the meaning of the word or make a sentence, you know? You want to do yeah. anything like go back and you try to put those words now into a sentence? Yes, yes we're going to do that. Whatever you want to do, yes, it does matter to me, yes. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to do as well. <laughs> More to them if they hear it, it incorporated in something uh, that seems to make sense to them rather than just a single word. Yeah, by all means. Yeah. Okay, let us, let us do that and then we're going to ask Sanil to start, okay? So okay. I'm going to share again. Okay, so here they are. Let me see. Uh, share. I have to share. What is it? Okay. Okay. So let me check. Okay, here it is. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we are going to start with the, the bum and okay, bum. All right. Okay. Uh, this is this is really off the cuff now, isn't it? Because we are going to make up something very quickly off the top of our head. That's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, yes, yeah, Sanil, do you have any yes. clue how to use it in sentence or explain? Yeah, obviously, uh, like uh, whatever word you have just shared on the screen, like, like uh, where even we're going to make one sentence with each word, it will be more beneficial for the students and for me as well. Yeah. If, yeah. Instead, if we're going to just try to remember all these as words like for an example here the first word is bomb so like you can say like a uh, bomb can cause too many like cause many harm to human body if human come into the interaction of anything like that like i don't know sentence is right or not but like this is the one sentence which i could frame with right now a like, bomb is very dangerous for human being but still, human beings are using it. Like when you make this sort of sentences, it will be very easy in order to remember all this. And uh, one more benefit is, like, you can remember these words for a long time, even though you are not using this that frequently. So for, for with the second word, climb, like, I don't like to climb trees. I don't like to climb trees. So this is a kind of uh, sentence which I made, which has pretty much related to me because I really don't like to climb tree because I have a fear of height. So when you usually make sentences which are pretty much natural to you, which are pretty much related to the truth, what you actually do, what you actually don't do, and when you make sentence on them, that makes that word more memorable and you can like memorize them more for more time. So I think we should go with the sentence, Jenny, ma'am. Like uh, we can make sentence with them. Yeah, go ahead. We can do that. Okay, so calm. The third word is calm. Uh, every day, whenever I go out, before I step out, I usually comb my hair. Then uh, the word is chrome. Okay, like, Jenny, ma'am, can you tell me that what is the meaning of chrome? Like, I, I don't know the meaning ask, of it. Ask Alan. Okay, Alan the, can you tell me? More particles. Ask the next speaker. <laughs> when you're eating a sandwich or a bread roll, those little fragments that fall off the, uh, the the bread onto the table 
are crumbs. Well, that's plural. There's more than one crumb. That crumb yeah. is just a single particle of any particle of food, if you like. But usually it refers to, to bread, probably. Crumb. Okay. When I, Can you when put I that make word? That, have you have you seen when I make when I make uh, you know the uh Chicken, I, I, I love like uh, put uh, those uh, crumbs of bread and uh, I make it like um, I have to use the uh, egg and I beat the egg and then I use the crumb bread, bread crumbs. Bread crumbs, crumbs yeah. to make it, uh, I don't know how to say, it, and they fry them and I fry the chicken and it tastes really, really good. <laughs> I don't know. Get what I'm saying, uh, uh, Alain? I don't know, uh, crispy chicken, kind of like crispy, it's become crispy. Right. Yes. By when using uh, bread crumb, uh, by using, uh, what is it, uh, bread crumb? Well, it's often used in cooking, isn't it? For baking tarts, they use bread crumbs as a sort of a crusty layer. Um, crumbs can be coming all sorts of things, really, but they're just very small particles of food. Whether you uh, yes. uh, yeah, because if I if I don't have that one that already made, like you buy it in the from the supermarket, yes, I, just, I, I have to make the <laughs> the bread that I have, and I have to smash it, like smash, 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 like kind of like uh, become a a bread crumbs, you know. That's so right. that's the one I use. Yeah. Okay, like a, a sentence. Like with this word can be like uh, she brushed some cake crumbs of her dress while she was making her sandwich. Is it right, Alan? Yes, I mean um, there's all sorts of ways you could express this. Really, um, uh, you could say there are crumbs on the floor from eating, yes. or yeah. crumbs on the table. Yes. But it's usually okay. plural. It's very rare you will use the word crumb on its own. Um, yeah. There's more than one crumb, and it has to be crumbs. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I think, gentlemen, we should move to the next word, which is death. Yeah. Death. Yeah. Uh, I hate okay, to be so... in debt. In other words, if, you, if you're in yeah. debt, you owe money. And I hate to be in debt. It worries me. <laughs> yes, obviously. I want to be in debt to be. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I want to be dead. <laughs> okay, like we can I say that wanna... one of my friends got a new car for himself, but in installment. So he has he has to pay debt to the bank every month. Yeah, is it? Yes. And uh, then uh, the next word is doubt. The sentence is, whenever I have any kind of doubt, I usually ask to my teacher instead of hiding that. Yes, it's then, something you're not sure of. And if you're in doubt, you will ask, of course. <laughs> yes, you usually ask. Yes, obviously. Then the next word is dumb. Dumb, dumb people always do the kind of things which are not possible for... Uh, yeah, which are, which are not possible for a normal person to understand. Dumb people do kind of things which are not possible to understand for a normal person. Yes, dumb, of course, it, it can be an affliction. Somebody has got no hearing or sight and they be classified. Yeah. Yes. When we annoyed with somebody, they say he's dumb. You know, he doesn't get the idea. Yeah. Dumb. Yeah. <laughs> it has no sense. Yes. <laughs> Dumb. Okay, gentlemen, can you can you scroll scroll this screen up a little bit because I can't see the rest of the world. Oh, okay. Can you raise the list? Oh yeah. Whoa. Dumb. Yes. Lamb. Yeah. Dumb. Dumb. Lamb. Lamb. Okay. Alan, what is the meaning of lamb? It's a new. It's a newborn from sheep. When a sheep gives birth, she produces, she gives birth to lambs. Uh -huh. you know? um, okay, so. Well, we, that's in so the, the This is lamb, a single lamb is a young sheep, basically. And so okay. uh, in springtime, 
you will see lots of lambs in the meadows, in the fields. Lamb. Okay, so like a kind of a child of a sheep or a young sheep. Is that? Yes, it, it's a baby. It's a baby sheep. It's a baby until it yeah. becomes adult, and then it goes from a lamb to being a sheep. But a yeah. lamb is specifically a baby sheep, basically. Yes. So uh, the sentence could be, I have seen many people, they used to have lamb as a non-veg food. Is it right? Uh, yes, of course, we eat lamb as, as uh, for meat. Um, yeah. We talk about beef and, and pork and other kinds of meat from animals and lamb is one of them. It's a, very popular in the UK, lamb. A leg of yes, lamb, okay. or, or, or yeah. a shoulder of lamb, in a particular part of the body of the lamb. So if we, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry if this upsets people who are uh, vegan eaters or against eating animals, but in the real world, I'm afraid this happens. Lamb, a young, yeah. it's a tender meat if you're buying yeah. lamb, as opposed okay. to milk, which comes from a sheep. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay, though. So the next word is limb. Numb. I think, yeah, I think, no, limb. I think after the limb. Oh, limb, sorry, limb. I missed one. Yeah, limb. Oh, yes, all your arms and legs are limbs. Yeah. So, the, um, the parts of your body. Is it, parts it, of your body is called limb. Yes, if you cut off a limb, it could be cutting off your arm or your leg. It's one of these moving parts of your body, limb. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes surgeons have to... Um, uh, sever a limb or take off a limb if it becomes, uh, we call it gangrenous, if it's in a poor state of, um, and it's going poisonous, they sometimes have to amputate a limb. Yeah. It be an arm or a leg. Okay? Yep. Okay. So, uh, the sentence could be, those students who are beginner in learning English, they are learning all the name of the limbs in English and how to pronounce them. Right. Yeah. Well, then the numb. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. Numb. Like, what is the meaning of numb? Well, if I was to, if I was to hit your finger with a hammer, I'm quite sure you're feeling numb. It's okay. there's no sensation if it's something is numb. In okay. frosty weather, when it's minus five, my fingers are numb with cold. I cannot feel any sensation. So numb is basically, there's no feeling there. <laughs> yeah. So like a sentence could be, in winter season, I was playing cricket with my friend. And when the ball hit to my leg, I can't feel anything. My leg was completely numb. Yeah, I quite catch that. I miss that bit, really. Uh, yes, I mean, yes, you could have an operation, and uh, of course, they give you an anesthetic to yeah. numb yeah. the area on which they're going to operate. And when yeah, I've been in the hospital, yeah. they give me yeah. a, an epidural in my spine to make it numb so I don't feel the pain from the surgery. So that's what it is. It, it really numbs. There's no yeah. feeling if something is numb. I got another example. Okay, okay. like uh, when uh, my leg is like like having cramp. Do you know that cramp? And it feels numb. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. 